put this in perspective, the last time I admitted that I was wrong, I had just voted for Jimmy Carter. I understand. I was wrong about you. Oh, I admit in the beginning I didn't think you were worthy of wiping BJ's shoes. Grace, I can't blame you a bit. I acted like an idiot around you more no. times than once. No, I, I still gave you a bad deal. I mean, I know a lot of it had to do with me being a cop and you being a member of the Fourth Estate, but thank God when I tried to run you off, you stood your ground and you were here when BJ needed you. I don't think she'd have gotten through this without you. Oh, yes, she would. She's got you. She's got her mother. No, I don't... I don't think it's exactly news that BJ and her mother don't exactly see eye to eye over a lot of points. I mean, you know, part of it was Frank. And the other part just comes with the territory of being a teenager and growing up and learning that your parents can't always be what you want them or need them to be. But that's what makes it so hard. BJ and I always had such great communication. And she's out there and I can't reach her. Well, you better keep trying. Because when this is over, she's going to need her dad more than ever. That's the problem. He's 3,000 miles and 19 years down the line. I don't understand. BJ is not my daughter, Warren. She's Cruz's. <laughs>